Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to the McBiffle Play Network. Uh, tonight I am going to uh, do some repair on this uh, Captain America by Mark Wade Omnibus. It has a very common uh, problem that I'll show you. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about it first. Uh, the glue on the spine has completely separated from the block. So this is a pretty easy fix. Uh, but let me show you a close-up what we're talking about. All right, as you can see right here, these ridges are glue that is dried from the manufacturing of this book. And those ridges are supposed to be in between the signatures of the book. Uh, so that's come completely undone, and that's true on the other side as well. So what we're going to do is put some glue in here and try to get it as far in as we can uh, and then close the book back up and so we'll put glue in from this side we'll put glue in from the far side and we'll get it spread around on here as much as we can close the book so that it'll then press the signatures against the glue and let it sit there for a couple days while it dries Um, I've done a similar video in the past, however, the problem was a little bit different. In that video, the end sheet had separated from the rest of the block, and so we had to repair this separation. Fortunately, we don't have to do that this time, and this is a little bit easier to, to do than what we did before. We're going to need very many tools to get this done. Obviously, we will use pH neutral PVA glue. Uh, less obviously, I will use a children's medication syringe. This, I will use that to squirt uh, glue in here. And then I'm going to use this wooden skewer that I will use to spread it around in here. Uh, that's really all we're going to need. All right, so I've got a little bit of glue in my syringe here. I'm just gonna you know, squirt it in there. Lift the book up a little bit to get it to run down the spine. So that's a <clears throat> very small amount of glue compared to what we're gonna to need to do this whole thing. I'm gonna end up putting quite a bit of glue in here. Uh, fortunately, you know, I looked through the book and none of the signatures were separating. So the sewn binding is holding up really well. And that means if I put too much glue in here, that it shouldn't seep between the pages too badly. Uh, so I won't do too much harm if I inadvertently overuse glue. squirts in there. I just want to spread it around a little bit before I put some more in. And sucking up the glue with the syringe is not working out real well. So I'm going to try to pour it right into it. Hopefully I don't make too big of a mess. go pretty well. So PVA glue does dry pretty quickly. Uh, so you don't want to get just a little bit in here and then have to step away. You really want to make sure you can do this whole process uh, in one sitting. probably good for that side. It's actually a little bit more glue than I uh, anticipated putting in there, but when I look down in there I don't actually see much of the wet glue. Uh, 
around, so it's getting spread around pretty well. hole it's not quite as big on the top as it was on the bottom yeah. so this uh, this PVA glue that I'm using uh, it's pretty good in my experience uh, I've done handful of repairs with it and none of them have failed. Um, I've repaired a absolute dark victory that was completely falling apart. Just a nightmare. Uh, it took quite a while to get it fixed but uh, but it holds up pretty well now and I fixed that inferno hardcover that you might have seen. I, I made a video out of that repair and uh, both those are holding up really well. Uh, all right, so I've got what I hope to be enough glue in there. As I look down in there, I can see the sheen of the wet glue well into the book. Uh, so I know that there is glue on most of the spine in there. Uh, it looks quite a bit thicker down here at the bottom of the book than on the top. So think I'm going to go ahead and put just a hair more up in the top. close it up and when I do that a bunch of glue is going to come pouring out of both ends so I probably should have done this before I started but I'm going to take the dust jacket off so that the glue doesn't cement the dust jacket to the book because I'm not a heathen and I take the dust jacket off when I read quite a bit of glue coming out there quite a bit here too so maybe I put a little too much but eventually it'll stop seeping out of there I can get it wiped up and give it some time to dry Alright, so I've got the uh, the book opened up. I've let it dry for about 12 hours. The, the glue seems good and dry. And so I went through and I stretched the spine. <clears throat> and as you can see here, there is no eye. So generally, you want the eye to pop up like that. Uh, I suspect that this did not happen because... The glue that seeped out of here uh, connected the ribbon to the uh, the cover of the book itself. So I'm going to take this razor and cut that and see if it pops up at all. I'm trying to be very delicate because I don't want to cut through the cover of the book. I'm not sure how deep this glue may have gotten. Um, so I'm not going to work at this too much for fear of doing damage. 
Uh, doesn't look like anything good is happening. But uh, but overall, this isn't bad. You know, the the cover of the book makes an eye itself there. And there's nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> and we don't have any gutter loss. And the book lays flat. So overall, it's fine. Um, the repair seems to have been a success. Um, as you can see, the ribbon is now connected to the block. There is a small spot right here where that's not true. But thank you very much. I hope uh, you guys found this helpful.